Hello! Welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. Today is going to be a fun day of thrifting. I'm really excited. It's a Friday. I am doing just one of those pop around kind of days, but there is a little bit of a mission and a goal today. I get rolling I thought I would tell you my mission and my goal it is spring and I'm in the whole full spring styling mode last week I did my spring styling with Ronnie which was so inspiring and I think one thing that I noticed and got really inspired by and then realized when I walked back to my closet is that I need some more color and more prints in my life I feel like I have some of those pieces that are perfect for summer, but I don't have as many pieces for spring, like a great spring layer that's, a, you know, like the blazer, the Moschino blazer that Ronnie had in the video. Just, I want more colors and prints in my life. So this is actually really fun when I'm not necessarily looking for a certain style, but I am looking for colors and prints because I feel like it shrinks the thrift store down and doesn't feel as overwhelming because you really are just scanning for colors and prints so it's just whenever I spot that then I can look in that section so that is my goal and mission today and I'm going to give myself the day to do this I might go to one store and if it's great I will be done or I might go to multiple stores but I'm excited for my thrifting Friday. Let's hit the road. We are at the first location. I have my belt bag, which always makes me so happy when I'm thrifting because I just feel like you want your hands free. And I always feel like my bag gets stuck somewhere under a pile of clothes and then I'm always looking for it. But we're at the first Goodwill. We're gonna head in. We're gonna look for those colors and those prints. in the um, shirts section. I feel like I always start in dresses and really I don't end up wanting a lot of dresses. So I'm starting in the tops. I like all my pieces that I can build all my outfits with. The tops are essential for that. First find, this 1970s, you can see the tag is the vintage tag 1970s yellow I love that it has the stripes that are super on trend right now um, really kind of like a fun little beach sweater knit I love this just a really great button down it's super soft and I like the um, design all over it Ooh, and it has buttons down the back so you could open it up and it could be kind of like a open cool design in the back this great dolman sleeve. Throwing all my ties with that. I really love that. Perfect. I cannot believe I just found this piece. It's like a vintage um, tie dye. Amazing sleeve detail. It's made in India. It's like a really great vintage tag, which I love. Really, really cool. And then I just found this polka dot top, which I really like. And again, I always look for the tags if I want to know if it's vintage. And then inside, you can see the little vintage tag there. It just, just makes me like it even more. I just found two more really amazing vintage shirts. I love this Hawaiian print, but I love all the colors. Very mid-century looking, and I love the old... Alex Coleman of California Cad. It's really classic. And then this vintage tee is insane. Let's see if I'm trying to get better lighting for you guys. Look at this vintage Honda tee. I'm so excited about I love the neckline. It's like a square neckline. Very, very cool. And something I've been wanting is more of a classic, just light blue button down. I have the plain one, but I, I wanted more of like a pinstripe or something. I found this one, I really like it. It's um, Calvin Klein, I feel like it's a lent, linen blend. So it's really perfect for spring. And it just has that 
really great soft feel. And I'm also really liking the idea of bringing back the page boy hat. I feel like with a just classic button down page boy, that would be really cute. And all my suspenders and ties. I popped into pants and I found some really great ones. Two of this brand. Gosse and just classic pinstripe and also these which I really like these a lot more of a wide leg pant and they kind of have a little bit of a blue tweed to them and then I found these that I really like too these are just like a perfect little gray pinstripe really high waist and then I am looking for prints for spring and these are really fun black and white beach pant but I really like the idea of just wearing that you know just do like a bloomer underneath or something that could be really fun this is not spring but I couldn't help it if there's anything with extra trim fur trim I just love it it's so cool Mishka, I cannot say it. I... No. Let me know what you think. Is that actually Mishka? I mean, it's very cool. I'm going to put it in my cart. This is a vintage men's sports jacket. I gotta see it in the big mirror, but it's very cool. I love just like the 70s menswear styling of it. And it has kind of more of like a camel color. My favorite section, the outerwear. I found some fun gems, those that you've already seen. And then, I know I'm looking for color and prints, but when I just find other things, I have to show you. And I feel like especially, I don't think I'll ever recover from my 90s retro revivals and all the Vivian Westwood inspiration. So I really love this vest that I found. It's very equestrian. And actually it says like Lexington, Kentucky. Isn't that where the Kentucky Derby is? I don't know. I felt like it was very equestrian looking. This is all about color and fun. It's so cute. Look at this big yellow toggle jacket. I love the tag. It feels a little bit like I might direct some traffic, but kind of like that. And then this is interesting. This again goes with the retro revival. I don't know if I love it, but I, I did like some of the details. The, the buttons have little stars on them. Let's see if I can show you. So they have little stars on them, which I thought was really cool. So I'm going to put it in my cart. I finished off in skirts and I found this really cute Hawaiian print wrap skirt. It has like some cute ruching on it, so I'll show you when I try it on. This is Topshop, which I don't usually, uh, you know, look for new things, but I do really like all of the scarf print detail of this. This could be a really great addition to add some more print color. And then this is a Y2K, a really great little slip skirt. This is so Gary Bradshaw, I can totally see her wearing this. So I really like that. And so I think I have gone through what I wanted to look through here. And now I'm going to sift through my cart, decide the pieces that I want to try on, and I'll let you know. Doing the sifting and sorting, I'm going to pass on this for sure. It's just too fallish, and I don't love it. Definitely a bright and happy layer. I don't know if I love it or not, but it is really fun. Very nautical. I feel like I'm going to go sailing. This, I need to be smaller. It's too big. I feel like this, you know, is supposed to be like super tight like that, which would be amazing. And I don't feel like getting it tailored, but it's very, very cool. I did the research. This is Badgley Mishka's line that they did with HSN, like in the mid 2000s, which I kind of like. Um, it reminds me of very much the time travel trend of just very like opulent. It feels like a bedroom jacket, but like an opera coat at the same time. It's very cool. I just love this like dramatic collar detail here. So I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. 
But that's the story on this coat. Here is the amazing 70s sports jacket. I feel like I already have a few blazers in this color story. So I really was looking for um, a jacket with either a print or a color. So I think I'm gonna pass on this, but it really is amazing. I just love all the tailoring and the details, the gold buttons on it. This is going to be a hard pass, but I do love it, but I'm going to pass. I can't, cannot pass on this. I mean, anytime there's extra, you know, I don't even know what kind of, this is definitely faux fur, but I forget what this is. I feel like this was like a thing during the early 2000s, but I just love, love it so much. It's very cool. Can't go wrong with just a classic button down. I like the linen blend of this. It feels very lightweight, perfect for spring. Very cute. I actually really like it with the skirt that I'm wearing right now. This is such a cool shirt. I'm just not loving it. Like some of the details are just kind of falling apart. Which mm, sometimes I don't mind, but I don't know something about it. It's just not loving. I don't know. It's such a great color and print though. I don't know. I'm going to think about this one. I love this. This actually reminds me a little bit of the Escada shirt that I got last time around. But, um, you know, it's a little bit different. And I love the buttons that line the back of it. And it has this really dramatic shape here, which I feel like, you know, you can tie it. Also, just wear it kind of open and cool. Bolo tie could be great here. A tie doing layering over it. It could go Western, it could go menswear, so I really like it. It's a great mustard color. Okay, I've switched to the dressing room. I've got on that really cool 70s knit. This length is not my jam. I'm trying to decide if I would, you know, of course crop it or just tuck it in. I don't know, it's so great. I love the color, I love the stripes on it. I don't know, it's a maybe right now. Here's the Topshop skirt. I don't know. I love all the colors and the prints. I don't know if I like all these cuts on it. But it also could be a really cool piece to do layering with. Hmm, or boots. Ooh, that would be really cute if I had boots on with it. I don't know, okay, this is a maybe, but definitely like very much what I was looking for in terms of color and print, but we'll see. Here's the Hawaiian skirt. I don't know, I'm not loving it. The wrap is weird. I can't find a hole. And yeah, I'm just, it's not a yes 100% for me, so I'm gonna pass. This is a yes, I love the midi length of this. I love the stripe. I love that it's that bold stripe for spring. It's asymmetric. I just like this length a lot too. So very fun. Ah, this is so amazing. I love, I don't wear t-shirts all the time, but when I find a really great one or a great sweatshirt that just has that nostalgic vintage feel to it that I connect to somehow, they become like staples in my closet. I'm thinking of like my um, Olympic sweatshirt. I have a World Cup tee, same thing. And then now I think this Honda tee. I can't believe it, it's so cute. I love the peach color with the blue and the red. Kind of a fun combo. I love this square neckline up here. And actually just like with this outfit, it's very spontaneous and fun. There's those like gosse pants, which I really love have um, shorts lining in them, so I feel like they feel a little funny, but just like in terms of a great high waist pant, they're awesome and they're lightweight. Kind of have this like blue speckle look to them, so I really like these. And this is the same brand in the black pinstripe. The blue is a little more unique kind of. I like how these feel a little bit more. No. Hard to see the pinstripe. There you go. Like that. They're really just classic black high waist pants. Here are those beach pants, which I really love the print. I it kind of drops down here in the front. I think it's supposed to be for your bathing suit, not underwear. But then I feel like when they hang, they just have this weird 
look to them, which is such a bummer because I really love the print. Like that, I'm like, yes, and then I do this. And I'm thinking, eh, I don't know. And then this is the little polka dot shirt, which is super simple, but I actually think once I put it on, I really think it's such a perfect statement piece. More prints, adding into my color and print mixing. I actually really like it with the plaid. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you what I decided to get. I'm being a little bit picky. I'm just, I'm getting this. This is not on the theme at all, but it's just so great. This is an essential. We're doing the color thing. Love it. Also, love this little vintage polka dot top. It's actually made in Paris. Vintage Paris designer. Um, yes, best find of the day. And I really love this little striped skirt. So that's what I'm going to get. Store one done. I feel like I might need a little bit more color and print in my life from today's shopping adventure. So I think we should go to another store. Alrighty. <laughs> Store number two. I think my goal here is more color. I'm gonna try to find more color. I feel like I found a few and I found some fun prints, but I would love like a blazer or something that's colorful or I don't know, but you never know. So here we go. I decided to just do a quick scan. I walked in and I had that moment where I'm like, I don't feel like digging as much, but I did find some goodies that are printed and colorful, so I'm gonna try them on and show you. This is a really cute red, you know, print, little pleated skirt. Very cute. There's some weird little pulling on the hem or the lining. So, I don't know though, it is really cute. I love just the little print on it, so sweet. I just found my favorite things ever. These are these wide leg pants. I thought they, you know, are PJ pants, but I don't actually think they are. They have belt loops. The tag is like some kind of art and design. They're wide leg too, and they're the most fun, car colorful print. I mean, that is really fun. I'm just dressing up a little outfit here. This is a fish printed Hawaiian. Uh, you know, style shirt, which I really love. I really like these two together. And I'm actually going to Pickwick tomorrow. I hadn't decided on what I was gonna wear. It's gonna be super hot. So I'm thinking like, what if I wore this? Which you guys will, I'll put up the picture if I ended up wearing it, but this. And then maybe I have this like pink little hat. It'd be fun to do like a really cool hat with it. I don't know, this could be really fun. It's very easy breezy and it's literally almost 100 degrees outside right now, so that sounds really nice. And then I found this butter yellow tank kind of shirt that I like as a vest. Wow. It's funny, I put it in my cart thinking it was a no, you know, but thinking it was still cool and I wanted to show you all. But now on, I like, I like it. Um, I'm gonna think about it. I like the idea of having options for layering when it's hot. I don't know, I gotta think about it. I think it's this color that I have to think about. I'm not always a butter yellow girl, but it is very cool. I also found this little crossbody bag that I think is super cute. I have my gold one that I wear all the time, so it'd be nice to have you know, something else. And I love crossbody bags right now, especially like something like this where it almost can act as a um, belt bag. Like I might wear this almost as a necklace and then put a layer over it. And then you have just like your little hidden pocket there. And then you can even carry an actual purse too. So I don't know, I think that's really cute. And I like the little like razzle dazzle of it. I'm putting back this skirt. It's just not a 10 for me. And then I am also putting back this. I just, I know myself, and you know those colors you just don't end up wearing. And this is one of them. I don't know why. I just don't love it on me. So I'm gonna pass on those, but I'm definitely taking both of these. And then I think I'm just gonna walk around and do some spontaneous looking. Sometimes I feel like those are when the gems pop out. So I'm just gonna spontaneously 
search the racks. All right, I ended up coming home with the two amazing print pieces. I'm so excited about both of them, and I feel like they really hit and checked the box for me and adding some more fun color print into my closet and also the other pieces that I found at the other store. And I feel like this is, you know, what a typical kind of run in the thrift store day looks like just popping in and seeing what I can find and with the mission and goal of colors and prints that made it so much fun and also made it a little bit easier to just scan the store because I knew very particularly the sections that I wanted to look in. And to me one of the best things about thrifting and I think this is just good anytime you're in a little bit of a style rut is to go to the thrift store and see what you can find and then just let that be the spark that brings all new ideas into your brain, which is exactly what happened today. I feel like, I think this is what I'm gonna wear to Pickwick tomorrow up in LA, which if you don't know, Pickwick is a vintage show that all these amazing vendors come to LA and uh, you know, set up their shop and it's seriously one of the most fun days for vintage lovers and I love it because it's an excuse to play dress up and I feel like every month I have so much fun kind of coming up with like what's my story, what's my character, what's my outfit going to be and I wanted April to be a celebration of spring last month with March and you can check out the look here. It was kind of my last hurrah of the winter look. I went like dark, dark colors, super layered up. I went with the retro revivals theme and so I felt like this month I really wanted spring to be all about the explosion of color and print and my hope was my hope was today while I was thrifting, I might find something that sparked some new ideas for me. Yay! And I think this did. And I think this is what I'm going to wear, which right now you're watching this. I wore it. Let's put up the pictures right here. I'm thinking um, the two pieces together and I have this pink hat. I'm not sure yet with shoes or other little things that I might do to it, but I am so excited that it sparked new ideas for me. And I think that is the fun with thrifting is that finding a new piece, even one, can often just spark new ideas. And often I think that's what sparks ideas for outfits for me. Sometimes it might be an inspiration of a runway or an image I've seen or something, but a lot of times it's a piece that sparks ideas and then I build it around that. Also. Just as I'm saying that, I'm thinking, if you aren't following me on TikTok, head over to TikTok and follow me over there. I just started doing this new Get Dressed With Me series, which normally that looks like you just put an outfit together and it's one, two, three, four, and all the pieces come together. But I am really just filming in a very uh, organic way exactly how my outfit comes together and sometimes it literally starts one place and ends up in a completely different direction especially the last few that I've done for some reason um, so it's fun it's the actual real creative process that goes into building an outfit how one piece can kind of spark an idea and then it transitions to something else and then you think what could I layer with it you know so it's just that real creative process of playing dress up that to me is the magic and I thought it would be really fun to start this series where I do just show you without any words without me talking without anything pre-planned or anything you really really are hanging out in my room while I create an outfit so um, I'll put the link down below to check out my TikTok and you can follow me over there and I'm I'm trying to do those a few times a week. So tune in to see the Get Dressed With Me process over there. Okay, I've been rambling for a while. Thank you all so much for watching today. It was really fun to bring you along thrifting. I feel like I haven't done one in a few weeks, right? So it was fun to have a little thrifting adventure with you. And I think the rest of this month is just gonna be this whole idea of building your spring closet, your wardrobe, and next week, I think it's next week. It's going to be all about spring accessories and all the fun. I'm having so much fun with accessories lately. So I want to bring you in on the journey of that. And finally, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos on Thursdays. Also make sure to subscribe to the weekly scoop email. It comes out every Tuesday. It's full of inspiration and so much fun. So I'll also put that link down below and always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah.